Thank you very much. Good evening to all. My name is Evan Doss Jr. and I'm a lifelong resident of Cleveland County, Mississippi. And I just want to take about my three or five minutes to just challenge a couple of things that uh, within the final report of the environmental uh, impact uh, study. It's shocking, it's disturbing to us as residents of Cleveland County. If this is the environment of justice, then I would hate to think what the environment injustice would be like for us as residents here in Cleveland County. And I just want to read a couple of quotes here. And I want to address about three areas of concern here that are going to affect by building the nuclear power plant, Unit 3, is going to have a drastic effect upon low-income people here within Cleveland County. This has the social, and this is within the impact study that the NRC based upon and giving a site, early site for that. It says that the social economic impact could range from large beneficial to moderate adverse because local tax burden and access to public service in Cleveland County either greatly improve or significantly deteriorate depending on the level of public set obligation imposed by new residents and the level of tax revenues provided by the new unit. I want to go to one of the with education. It says that the impact could be considerable in Port Gibson, which could experience an increase of 460 children, 230 household times two per household in a district that has only 2,111 total. I want to go to the housing situation. All of this is affecting, has a drastic effect on local, uh, uh, local low-income people. It says that construction workers would need 230 local housing units here. And then it says here that after the number of housing units required to support the expected permanent workforce migrating into the area would be 580. Half of the 1160 new employees that will be working in the new uh, nuclear power plant. I want to read what it says about it. Uh, the hospital. In an emergency, the Clayton County Hospital has the space, equipment, and staff to help about three to four casualties at a time. It has one decamination room 14 years old that is not co-located with the emergency room. Clayton County officials, and I guess they're talking about the Board of Supervisors, are concerned this is not sufficient should there be an emergency at the Grand Gulf ESP facility. We intend to file whatever petition that it would take in order to correct this environmental injustice that's going to tremendous affect low-income people. If you're talking about the crisis of the housing that we are already have here and bringing a third nuclear, bringing uh, Grand Gulf Three to this community is going to have a drastic impact on those individual residents that are already living here. The other thing is that we begin to see the social services area here. Uh, individuals who are migrating here that uh, who don't have houses, who don't have food, but anticipate on getting jobs in uh, this uh, area here, who are now filling up our shelters here within the community that we no longer have the room or the capacity to take care of some of the local individuals that we have. These things are going to cost a tremendous amount of money if, in fact, 
our grand uh, bus three is built here in this community. That's going to have a drastic effect on us. And therefore, a condition needs to be put on uh, Grand Gulf 3 is that if the local community don't have the money, somebody has got to pay for these kinds of things. And one of the things that we challenged the NRC to add is that this needs to be resolved in terms of the education system here, in case of the housing system, and in the hospital system, and for social service programs here that's drastically that's going to affect low-income people. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson.